hey guys, swear to god there's a curse on this video, um, so I tried to film it the first time, and my camera wasn't even going, like, it didn't go, like my camera wasn't filming, like I didn't hit the stop, start button, failed, then I tried to film it again, my dad walked down here and started talking to me, then I tried to film it again, and my mom called me, so hopefully no one, like, messes up this video because I want to do it now. Because this is making me really angry. Oh, and I was gone for a little bit because um, I had a haircut appointment thingy that I for totally forgot about. So, yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, today I'm going to be doing the 7th grade advice video because I did my 6th grade advice video. And so now I'm going to be doing 7th grade. It's exciting. Okay, where'd the mouse go? So, in seventh grade, um, if you are like my school, and last year you had some sort of magnet or something like that, um, this is the year you're going to be switching classes. And really, it's not that bad as as bad as you think. Um, it's just you just switch classes every day or every hour, and yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. And I felt 7th grade was really kind of a boring year, at least in my school. Um, we didn't really do much. We didn't go on any trips. We went on one trip, but it was like two miles away. So we didn't really do much, and 7th grade was just kind of a boring year. Don't really get your hopes up about it. Um, this was the year that we started doing electives, and if you don't know what electives are, it's basically like... Um, different classes that you can take. We call them electives. I don't know what you guys call them, if you call them something different. Um, and my advice for electives is try something you don't think, oh god, my cat just scared the poop out of me. <sighs> try something that you don't think, like, try something that you haven't tried before because you never know, you might like it. Um, my elective, the one that I took, because I took band, which took all year, so you can only do one other elective. And um, the one I took is called, was called Speech and Drama, but it's basically like you make speeches and you do a play. And um, I knew I loved drama, so I wanted I knew I loved like being on stage and being in front of people. So I wanted to do Speech and Drama, and I didn't really like it that much. Like I wasn't like so obsessed about like being on stage and being in front of people. Like I still got like stage fright and stuff. Um, but after taking that class, I now am in love with being on stage. I will be, I love being in plays. I love speaking to people. I love speaking to you guys, even though I'm speaking to a computer. Um, but, yeah, and I would just say, say you have, like, mixed feelings about art. You don't know if you like it, but you don't know if you hate it. Go do art. Like, try a new thing, because you really never know what you might like and that could like even lead up to like your career like if I wouldn't have done speech and drama maybe I wouldn't have been something never mind okay um but yeah just like <sighs> just try new things that's my advice for like everything just try new things and you never know you might like find a new friend or you might not might find something that you love you might find what you're gonna do when you grow up I don't know but I would just try something new and electives are a good way to start um cause they're like you can like start trying something new and then you can like build up on it like if I really wanted to continue in drama I can continue it in high school I can continue it in college I can continue it after college I'll be in movies and I'm sorry if the lighting's being all weird um I could just get a lot darker because the sun probably just went behind the clouds. And, um, now my dog and my cat are sniffing each other. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? So, yeah, electives, I would just say try new things. And then next I want to talk about is grades. And I'm going to talk about grades in every single video because grades are extremely important because literally they decide what you're going to do next year. Like, what class you're going to take. And I said this in my last, um, sixth grade advice video or whatever, um, grades just really help, like, it can tell you if you're going, if you're in pre-algebra, if you're going to go into algebra, or if, if you have to repeat pre-algebra, which don't recommend doing, um, 
you know, just stuff like that. Like, and it can take you in, like, honors classes or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, okay, I'm being repetitive. Um, so, and then another thing that our school offered for 7th graders is we got to go to dances. Now, the dances are nothing special. They're not, like, homecoming and prom. You don't dress up. Um, you pay to get in. It was 4 bucks at our school. Um, and in my opinion, if you go to my school and you're a new 7th grader, um, or it's not really my school anymore. If you go to the middle school where I went last year and the year before that and the year before that, and you're going to be a 7th grader, don't waste your money on the dances. Trust me, they're not anything good. Um, the dances at anyone else's school might be amazing, but our school, no. Don't, don't do it. Don't spend the four bucks. Trust me. You'll regret it. Trust me. I don't care if all your friends are going. I don't care if some guy asked you to the dance. Don't go. Don't spend your four bucks. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Um... But if you want to go to the dance, like if you're in another school and you've heard the dances are like awesome at your school, then go ahead, go to the dances. I don't really care. Um, and then the next topic I want to talk about is boys. I'm going to hit this topic again and again and again. Seventh graders, um, I think that's really the year where you like could start something. Like Obviously, you're probably not going to marry the dude um, or the girl. If you're a guy watching this, you're probably not going to marry them. Um, but again, don't get too cocky because you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Um, it's really not that much to be proud of. Um, but good relationships. I know some people that have started good relationships in seventh grade. And they're still together now. And, you know, stuff like that. Um, my friend Jessica and her boyfriend Nick, they got together. They got together in sixth grade, actually. Like the end of sixth grade or something. And they're still together. It's really cute. I think they're still together. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really talked to her that much. Um, so, yeah, and... Mm -hmm. And just don't let boys take advantage you, of you either. It's just... Yeah, no, don't. Um, how long was this? Ooh, this one is short. I think that's all I want to talk about. Um, do I want to talk about anything else? I don't think so, but if you have a question, comment down below. And if it's personal, comment down below. And, uh, or not, if it's not, <sighs> start over. If you have a question, cut, like, and you're free to, for, like, anyone to see it, comment down below. But if it's personal, inbox me. I'll reply, I promise. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be doing an 8th grade one next. And I think I got through this video without getting a distraction. Watch, like, a meteor hit right now. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and um, comment, subscribe. Bye.